Hey, Tyler here from Transfield. Uh, we're here to talk about some best practices as far as packaging industrial units for transportation and long-term storage. Uh, units such as HVAC, prefabricated modular units, uh, aviation, power gen, anything that's large and expensive that is shipped over the road for transportation or stored for a long period of time. It's important to protect these units because a lot of these units are very expensive and have um, nice finished uh, items inside of them. So we want to protect those quality products inside. We want to protect the quality image of our customers, but also our packaging wants to offer a quality packaging image on the outside as well. It's not a mix and match, multiple layer type of packaging. It's a nice, clean, finished packaging product that'll protect that unit from the manufacturer to its final site. Before packaging your equipment, be sure to remove any dirt and debris from the unit. This will create a professional appearance and prevent the debris from causing abrasion during transportation. Similarly, if there is any water inside the unit, make sure that this is dried up as water can cause metal to rust and also begin to form mold and mildew, especially if it's in a hot and humid environment. Next, using some form of padding, blunt all short corners and edges of the unit before covering. During flatbed transit, equipment can face winds in excess of 70 miles an hour, which can cause your cover or shrink wrap solution to snag and tear on the sharp corners. If possible, remove any protruding elements or make them flush with the main structure of the unit to reduce tension on your cover solution. If your equipment has protruding elements that cannot be removed or made flush, generously pad these areas with some type of foam, cardboard, or tape like you did with the corners and edges. If there are any loose pieces of equipment or spare parts that will be accompanying your unit during transit, make sure they are securely tied down and stowed away so they do not shift or move during transit. All entry points, such as doors, vents, and windows, should be sealed in some format before applying your packaging. Sealing these openings will act as an extra layer of protection to prevent dust, debris, and water from getting inside. Whether you're using shrink wrap, a tarp, or another cover solution, there are a few best practices to consider when covering your equipment. First, eliminate as much loose packaging material as possible. Loose packaging can cause abrasion to the unit. In addition, it creates opportunities for wind to tunnel into your covering, causing significant damage to the packaging. Second, make sure the bottom perimeter of your packaging is properly sealed to prevent wind from tunneling into the packaging. This can be done in a variety of ways, such as pull ropes, ratchet and webbing, and tape. In addition, another effective method is to use a full enclosure utilizing a top and bottom piece to your packaging. Third, for packaging materials that are required to be heat shrunk before transit or long-term storage, use a reliable heat tool such as a ShrinkFast 998. In addition, there are various extensions that can be added to this tool for the hard to reach areas. Before using your heat tool, consult the user's manual to determine the proper amount of pressure your heat tool should be operated at. Using too much pressure can cause excessive burn throughs on your packaging and may even damage the tool. For more information on heat shrink packaging and proper usage of a heat tool, please check out our instructional video on YouTube noted below. Once your covering is applied and properly heat shrunk, it can be good practice to reinforce high stress points with a quality shrink tape. Some of these areas that we may want to concentrate are the base of the covering, all corners and edge points, any protruding tension points on the covering, in addition to any seams. The last thing that we want to concern ourselves with is lashing that unit down to the truck. Now oftentimes we can lash around a external wood skid or metal skid uh, to accomplish this, but there are cases where we're actually going to have a lifting lug or a tie down point that is inside our covering. Now if we do enter the cover or cut that cover, we want to make sure that we're coming back with a patch tape to seal off that opening to prevent any wind from tunneling in, but also protect 
uh, any water or road debris from getting in that finished cover so it arrives at the uh, customer factory fresh. Applying labeling to newly packaged equipment can provide a variety of benefits, some of which include ability to track finished goods, provide a professional branded finish, supply relevant product data, and offer guidance on proper material handling techniques. As a last step before shipping your equipment, it is a good idea to perform one last overall inspection of the packaged unit. It is important to ensure that the packaging is snug to the equipment in all areas and you do not see any weak areas or signs of potential failure during transit.